Is EQ over hummus was the last straw on something now? Why are people mad at me because I said I still don't know what WandaVision is or where to watch it? Like, I want to fucking watch it. And now I know. I tweeted out that I am... Uh, I, I tweeted out that I wasn't aware of what it was, and everyone told me it's Disney+. Plus. And uh, some people got, like, actually mad at me. I don't have Disney+, Plus, so I miss, I miss all the good shit. I, I miss The Mandalorian. Which I hear is really good. I missed the fucking WandaVision shit, which I, uh, I uh, hear is really good. I saw an article, though. I saw someone write an article uh, about WandaVision. Wait, hold on. That I, that I find to be, oh, dude, 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 dude. There is nothing that screams fucking oh, Obama-era culture war is back, baby, than this article title, okay? I'm sorry. This article title is better than anything you can come up with in your mind as an article or as a bit. Do you understand? Like, sometimes I think where we are in reality gets to a certain point where, it, it, like, reality and, and uh, like, political culture war gets to a certain point where it is impossible to discern whether what you are reading and seeing with your fucking eyes is satire or if it is a person demonstrating their real grievances okay and this is the perfect example this is like an onion article okay basically an onion article in a recent episode of wandavision all new halloween spooktacular the titular superhero wanda really maximoff aka scarlet witch right, appears in a retro like costume red headband leotard uh tights in a cape announcing that she is soko she's a sokovian future teller Reference the sidelong uh, side nod to the comic book character Wanda's Romani ethnicity that Olsen, a white actress, says she fought for. Um, but it should be painfully obvious that neither the Scarlet Witch's headband nor Leotard is a part of our culture. It is not, as Olsen offensively claimed, a gypsy thing. And passing off as such only layers on the misrepresentation. Many Roma, like myself, have rushed a rare opportunity for major representation character boils down to a white lady in cosplay, especially with so many talented Roma actresses abound. The casual racism here in Czech Republic right. against Romani people is fucking insane, not gonna lie. Okay, um, uh, the Romani people, uh, get shit on in Europe. Americans don't know what the fuck this is, okay? Like, Americans don't even know that, uh, uh, like, gypsy is a bad word for the most part. They've learned it recently, if they know. Okay? If I donate 15 subs, will you have enough money to buy a Disney Plus subscription? It's not about the money. I just, like, never have bought it. I don't know enough about uh, uh, Roma culture, okay? Romani culture. I don't know enough about uh, fucking uh, witchcraft and shit. But this notion that the article turns around and, and like, literally starts Thanks talking about, like, chat is her job a as a Romani castle. witch, okay? And how this is a very real thing and that you should be upset because it's a misrepresentation of her fucking job is, I'm sorry, something that I literally cannot fit inside of my brain, okay? I cannot simultaneously be an adult while also holding on to this notion that like witchcraft is a real fucking business and a real job that also has like ritualistic uh, protocols that you have to abide by like i'm not i can't do that I i'm sorry I, I literally cannot do that okay if you want to consider me to be a fucking uh if you want to say that i am bigoted if you want to say that i am bigoted because i do not believe that like witchcraft is a legitimate position or a legitimate fucking job then go ahead like i am not i, I you're not going to get that from me i'm sorry Okay. Set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, WandaVision presents a vintage sitcom world in which Wanda is suddenly reunited with her husband, the android superhero Vision, who had been killed in Marvel's Infinity Wars by Thanos. 
blah, 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 who cares? The few Roma who work as fortune tellers and witches like myself do not do so because we are magical, but because it's a job that we're historically forced into. Dude, oh my God. Oh, this article literally is like fucking, uh, this article is literally like written by, I don't even know if it's the onion. I, I feel like this is Babylon B at this point, okay? Roma are a diasporic ethnic group originating in the 10th century India, and when they arrived in Europe in the 1300s and 1400s, dark skinned with many gods, they were relentlessly persecuted, enslaved, legally hunted, murdered, shunned off. Okay, this stuff I do know a, a bit about. Roma were allowed to work as performers, metal workers, horse traders, craftspeople, agricultural, palmistry, card reading, tea leaf, and coffee reading, and other forms of divination were brought by Roma from India and the Middle East. The Roma were consulted by Europeans on their magical, unchristian needs. Today, some Roma do call themselves witches and serve as healers and spellcasters in community. But make no mistake, being a witch is a job like any other. I was trained by my grandmother. I studied hard. I started a business and I take bookings in my Google calendar. This is the context most people miss when creating or in this case, adapting Romani witch characters like Wanda Maximoff. And, and while the Scarlet Witch has plenty of magic, she does not need to fall into the stereotype nor have her identity erased. I don't think people are like legitimately upset about this, but the fact that like Mike.com thought, you know, this is a legitimate article that we should post. It says a lot about where fucking Mike.com is. Okay. I'm a Galal. An alternate universe, uh, uh, an alternate universe, which like uh, is, is uh, not abiding by the modern uh, standards of like Romani witchcraft is the liberal version is the is the overcorrective uh overcorrective super woke version of like nerds who get mad that their favorite character is no longer like a white guy okay still nowhere near as like a, a damaging nor as bigoted as the other because it does not tie back to like actual systemic oppression it's just silly you laugh at it and you fucking move on whereas the other one it, it legitimately is a, a reinforcement of, of uh, pre-existing systemic uh, uh, struggles, right? But the fact that this is not, the fact that this is not satire, and the fact that someone fucking wrote this and was like legitimately upset about it is, is something that I do not, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say about it, okay? We can scoff at the article itself, but we don't need to be rude towards the practice of the Romani, you know? Yeah, like the, the, the practice that we're talking about where like you are a, a, a doing witchcraft with your, uh, in your fucking uh, Google calendar. Okay, I got it. Yee boy. Why is it not okay to make fun of the job or a priest or rabbi, but okay to make fun of another culture's spiritual practitioner? I mean, it depends on what the fucking priest or rabbi is doing. I feel like in a lot of, I feel like a lot of monotheistic, uh, Abrahamic religions oftentimes, uh, end up getting normalized to the degree where like people kind of know it and they're in on it. They know that it's like not taken that seriously. And if Long someone were to take it to that degree, Roma, like if someone wrote an article about like Catholicism is getting a bad rap in movies, I would fucking dunk on that as well. I you know what I mean? Or if someone was writing an article more. about like how tithe actually, like tithes actually give you a, a, you know, you're buying real estate in heaven and the fact that someone was criticizing it, uh, they're, uh, and they're manipulating the, the process that has been around for fucking centuries. I would absolutely obliterate that shit. Do you understand? I'm not fucking, I dunk on a priest and shit all the goddamn time. Do you get it? You understand? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, being against the prosperity gospel is now hate speech. Like that's that's your that's your Christianity uh focused take.
Yeah, if the hydroxychloroquine demon sperm doctor slash preacher wrote an article about it, it would get shit on relentlessly. And it did. I found that shit and I made fun of her. Why aren't you fucking uh, losing your mind over the fact that that is a, uh, a, a cultural practice that I'm uh, shitting on? Come on. There is a level of like uh, spirituality and, and uh, a belief in your um, religion that is understandable, that uh, a lot of people abide by, and a lot of people engage in. And then there's a level beyond it. This is the level beyond it, which is why it's funny. And of course, I'm going to fucking make fun of it. Holy shit. You claim to not believe in potion making, but make tea and GTRP that gives you more money producing power. Curious. As someone who's Wiccan, I don't understand this. There are plenty of resources out there to learn about Wiccan in a more helpful way, but that doesn't mean Sabrina the Teenage Witch isn't an entertaining TV show. If you don't want to buy Disney+, Plus, you can uh, watch both The Mandalorian and WandaVision at Flick Store. It's a website with HD. I think no ass should have Google search it. Maybe. Uh, what's your opinion on Romani people is European Hassan? I've otherwise heard kind and, and nice Europeans online go crazy when discussing them. Yes. Uh, they are, the Romani people are more often than not, uh, unfortunately subjected to, because of centuries of cruelty and oppression, really horrific social, uh, socioeconomic conditions. Therefore, there is an, there is a never ending cycle of violence and poverty that, uh, is associated with, uh, Romanis. That's why like gypsy is considered a slur in Europe, um, and uh, that's that's it. It's like uh, it's like the same shit that you see in America for black people. Comrade. As far as I'm aware, people practicing Romani witchcraft don't seem to be doing anyone any harm. I don't know why you're combative against it. It's still a bit of a lib article. No, I'm not combative against fucking people reading tea leaves and shit, dude. I'm, I'm making fun of a fucking article that, like, takes that into the next level by, like, taking it super seriously. And the example exists for every single fucking thing, okay? This would, this would be the exact same reaction that I have regardless. Regardless. Of, of whatever the religious practice is, if it's taking it this fucking seriously, and I gave you a couple different uh, examples of it. I don't know why, like, leftists love to uh, jump to the, you're doing, you know, toxicity, and uh, you're combating. Like, you use such, ironically, uh, the word I'm going to use here is combative. You use such aggressive and combative language. Like, Nothing is just uh, lying, it's gaslighting. Nothing is just like uh, fucking jokes. It's, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's like, you're manifesting toxicity or some shit. Like, yeah, you're toxic. You're toxic. You're toxic. You're not like, yeah, I'm fucking toxic. Anyway. Would you call this article reactionary? No, it's not reactionary. It's just like over the top, uh, overcorrective uh, liberalism. And uh, it, it, that's it. I don't know how else to fucking describe it. So you are not toxic. You just have weird opinions. Sometimes doesn't mean you're a bad person. So I should be laughing about Muslims praying in the direction of Mecca or praying five times a day. I don't get your take. If someone wrote a fucking article about how a Muslim character was not literally fucking praying towards uh, the direction of Kaaba, okay? 
and that that is actually a microaggression against Islam, I would, I would fucking make fun of that, okay? Anyway. Does the same argument apply to indigenous representation? <laughs> I get what you're saying now before it sounded like you were just shitting on people for doing tarot reading and stuff. I mean, I don't believe in the tarot reading shit at all, but I don't also see it any differently than like, uh, as long as it's not harming anybody, I don't see it all that differently than whatever the fuck people believe in as far as religion goes. Sit down with a school teacher or a construction worker or a small business owner or a, a cook at a restaurant or the waitress at the, at the, at the restaurant we're at. And they're not talking about esoteric things that the Ivy League talks about or MSNBC talks about. They're talking about the Bible. Yeah, they're not talking about esoteric things like the Ivy League talks about. They're always talking about New York Times columnists that are getting fired for saying the N-word. I went into a diner the other day, folks, and the real salt of the earth guys are talking about how... The real salt of the earth guys are not talking about how, like, uh, whether they're going to make enough money uh, at, at the end of the month to, you know, pay for their fucking rent or whatever. They're actually talking about uh, whatever the fuck conservatives have decided to talk about on any particular moment. Like, let me tell you something, okay? Hassle. Anyone who tries to tell you, like, oh, I totally understand what the fucking working class is doing is uh, just, they're silly as fuck, okay? Especially because the working class is incredibly fucking the diverse. The American Feeling working like class is Thanks white, saying, black, brown, Asian... The American working class is, uh, it, it has, has a prominent LGBT members in it. So like a trans person talking about trans issues does not take away from their status as a fucking working class individual. Okay. There are certain things that the working class unites upon. That is having shit bosses. Okay. Uh, that is exploitation. That is it, whether they recognize it or not, they are still that is still happening. You know what I mean? Whether uh, it, it fucking shit customers, if they're in the retail industry, that's the stuff that the working class unites upon. Anything beyond that where you're like, no, the working class is actually always talking about how they want to be able to send, say the N-word betrays the, the reality that uh, there are uh, black and brown individuals within the American working class, okay? It's, it's like a really fucking white-centric, super, ironically, super liberal take to just hyper focus on whatever the fuck the media class has cultivated within their own echo chambers about what the fuck the American working class is and what the fuck you, the American Hispanic. working class is constantly talking about and agitated by. Okay? And there is a, there is a level, right? There is a level... Uh, of Thanks, of Dad. trying to desperately create a picture of the American working class that revolves around like white coal miners, the mythical white coal miner, right? That's what Republicans do regularly, uh, and and try to uh, create this uh, imagery that the white working class they they all wear hard hats, you know they they uh, whistle at women uh, that are walking by the construction yard and they work in fucking coal mines. Okay, that's the American working class and nothing else. Like. That doesn't exist anymore, okay? That does not exist anymore. As a matter of fact, that never really existed. It was just totally fucking made up. That isn't to say that, like, there aren't uh, overcorrective liberal opinions that certainly, that certainly do not demonstrate the needs or interests of, uh, of anyone, uh, barring, like, a very, very, very small percentage, Okay that uh, most people would consider to be foolish and ridiculous to even talk about. Latinx is a great example of this. Like, saying Latinx uh, it makes you look like a fucking clown in front of most uh, uh, Latino people and uh, most Hispanic people. Like, they will look at you, especially if you're, like, a white dude, as, like, you're being ridiculous. Having said that, though, 
Um, there is an, and I'm not going to fully get into this. I've talked about this issue like a gajillion times. Okay. There are still Latinx people. Okay. That want to use the term because they are non-binary and this is a non-binary uh, way of, uh, of, of uh, designating a group of people. Okay. And uh, they themselves are fighting within their own communities against transphobia and shit. So whenever someone talks about themselves as Latinx, I usually will uh, be nice and, and be kind and go along with it. You understand? But having said that, when I am referring to, when I'm referring to Latino people, I'm not going to say Latinx uh, in, in general, unless someone asks me to refer to them that way. Okay. Bulls in my Why eyes. didn't they just say Latin? Isn't that gender neutral? Sounds less dumb. Uh, no, it's Latine, actually. Um, regardless, 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 regardless. The point is... The point is that um, there are certain things that, uh, that most people don't even think about and will make you look ridiculous if you're talking to a normal person that isn't... Uh, a brain poisoned by being extremely online. Right? You get it? Like, um, that's, that's one of those, uh, that's one of those things. I'm just using that as like, uh, uh, I'm using that because it's a, it's a really good example that people immediately recognize. Anyway, um, but like the American working class isn't, uh, fucking losing their minds over the fact that, uh, the American working class isn't losing their minds over the fact that like, you know, Mr. Hospital, Potato Head is Hospital. fucking uh, gender neutral or whatever. Okay. One way or the other. And if they are, then that's silly as shit. You're kind of privileged if that's what your fucking main concern is. I don't think, I don't think a single fucking trans person in this country, and I mean this, with all of my fucking heart. I don't think a single fucking trans person in this country is like, oh my God, my material conditions have improved dramatically now that I know Mr. Potato Head is no longer Mr., but a fucking NB. All right? Like, not a single person, with the exception of, like, a trans person that is already incredibly fucking privileged otherwise, uh, is going to be like, this is brilliant, this is incredible, this is a gigantic step in recognizing trans people in society. You get it? Do you understand? Like, maybe, maybe Charlotte Clymer, but that's pretty much it. It's a potato. Bible and faith. And Try not to generalize. It takes a millions of people. Okay, I'll do the other thing then. If there's a, I'll go, uh, the, I'll go to this length then, and you can uh, consider me to be transphobic then. Here, watch me say something that you will uh, take out of context and get upset about. If a trans person genuinely and legitimately thinks that Mr. Potato Head becoming gender neutral is actually an, a, a, an important step in fucking ending transphobia, then they're fucking delusional. Okay, are you happy? Like, <laughs> which is precisely why I don't think most fucking trans people believe that this is a legitimate step towards, uh, you know, ending transphobia. At least most trans people in my community consider, uh, are on my side on this issue. <coughs> It's a potato. Like, the counter to this argument, if the counter to this argument is it's a fucking potato, there is no, there is no argument there, okay? And prayer, and their family, hard work, supporting the police, standing for the anthem, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Tenth Amendment. I sit down with a school teacher, or a construction worker, or a small... Okay.
Um, <laughs> young Zoe, I son. Oh, here we go. Please do not speak on issues you don't know. The moment I heard about Potato Head, all oppression left my body, and I sang fight song with a new power. I'm sorry. My my favorite trans chatter has spoken out against uh, this issue. Uh, I I uh, rescind my statement. I will be apologizing in a twit longer uh, later today. Please expect it. Turns out, uh, uh, hi, hi, Potato. Hi, 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 hi. Uh, the Mr. Potato. I don't even know. Potato Head. Is that what we're saying? Potato Head is a. Uh, Yeah, I will be I will be apologizing uh for the toxicity that I engaged in. If anything, the people who are triggered by it will likely double down on transphobia and worse in the situation. Potato I mean the people that are fucking oh, transphobic life. like Ben Shapiro will literally use any opportunity they can to be transphobic. Like no matter what happens, I mean, we've been, we watch enough Ben Shapiro videos to like know that like what is what is something that you think is virtually impossible to 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 be transphobic on, right? Like, how can you bring something back to how can you bring something back to uh, gender? Ben Shapiro will find a way. Do you understand? He will find a way to literally turn everything. Like, he is way more gender obsessed than a a uh, a, a fucking freshman at a liberal arts uh, college who is uh, going through their first like gender and sexuality course yeah, okay he is significantly more gender crazy than he's more gender crazy than like fucking uh you know portland uh portland moms and dads living in a polyamorous relationship trying to ensure that their like uh children are 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 non-gendered uh no matter what and like taking it to the next level okay ben shapiro is one of the most gender obsessed people on this fucking planet This is his bread and butter. He taught me women don't get wet. How is he not the foremost expert of genders? Exactly. I literally didn't even know this was a thing until I started watching streams today. It won't affect any of us in any way aside from Chud's having another thing to claim we're being snowflakes over. It can care less about the ding dang potato lol. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, the real offense is uh, fucking uh, uh, having a character by the name of Potato Head. I mean, this is you're you're literally you're being super pataphobic if we're being honest. I think the Irish should be deeply offended by deeply offended by this uh, this disgusting. Uh, I would go so far as to say like blackface. I mean, potato face. Why is the AP reporting on a children's story? Because people are bored, okay? Because we are now at that level back again. It's good again, okay? The media is fucking, uh, the media is bored of, uh, they don't have Trump. They don't have a, they don't have like a, like a beacon to, we to, uh, uh to, they don't have a Been watching you since easy way to define Monday, how fucking good they are or how liberal they are or how conservative they are. And Trump was that person, okay? When Trump was the when when Trump was the guy, liberals could show you how fucking woke they are by saying orange man bad, and Republicans could show you how fucking Republican they are, or how conservative they are by saying orange man good. Now that the orange man is gone, I say I need presidential bussy, but that's just me. I'm single. I'm 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 singularly on this point. Okay, I miss Trump's bussy, but that's besides the point. Now that that has gone away. What has to happen is another way for people to draw their fucking boundaries, to show what camp they're in, and to consistently play the role. And the way that these people do it is by going back to the regular old bullshit culture war issues that they act like they give a fuck about. That's it. You understand? And that's why people are writing articles like WandaVision uh, is disrespectful to the Romani uh, and uh, witchcraft is a legitimate profession. What were your thoughts on the violent But don't forget, people that take that shit seriously, that like that Mike article, those are like 
I, I'm making fun of it because I think it's funny. Uh, it's a brief aside. That should not be a representation of liberalism to you at all. No one is at that level, okay? That's just a unique voice, and it's funny, so we're just going to read it, and we're going to laugh at it, and we're going to move on. But what you need to recognize is, like, there are going to be people on the center or the centrist, like, anti-SJW uh, circuits that will now use things like that as though they are the representation of the entirety of the left. And you have to recognize that that is bullshit. They're going to go back to, like, the freshman at college campuses with the blue hair that's, like, upset about, um, you know, systemic racism is actually hysterical, ridiculous, systemic racism doesn't exist, blah, blah, blah. And that they are also in control of the entirety of American civilization now. They have their hands on the fucking, they have the reins of power. Like, that's what the anti SJWs are going to do. That's what people like Glenn Greenwald are going to fucking focus on as well. Because he seems to be like, you know, moving to that camp uh, uh, aggressively. You use QAnon to say it's the definition of the entire right. So, no, I don't see QAnon as the definition of the entire right, dumbass. Shut the fuck up. No, if there is an idea that is uh, pervasive within the uh, conservative, like cultural conservatism, it's not fucking QAnon, okay? QAnon is, unfortunately, for how psychopathic it is, very popular within the Republican Party, okay? But when I'm talking about, like, Republicans and uh, things that they believe in, it's uh, white supremacist uh, undertones, like white nativist uh, immigration policies. These are... Uh, or, or denying systemic racism exists. Like, these are very real things that most Republicans overwhelmingly believe.